Hey everyone, what it do? It's me, Jody san and welcome back to the 6th episode, I think, of Red Dead Redemption 2. Because at the moment, as I'm recording this, I haven't edited or uploaded the previous episode, whatever number that was. But let me be the first to say this, and before we even get to the gameplay. I really need to haul my behind at these, at these Red Dead Redemption 2 episodes, because a lot of the YouTubers out there, they're... We're like 30 episodes in, and I'm only at like the middle of chapter two. Bruh. And I really thought about just canceling this whole series because I just want to play the game. But I didn't want to snub you guys, and I want you guys to... I want to take you guys along this ride with me in my gameplay. But I'm going to throw down the gauntlet again and clear the board. So I think we're going to do three. I do want to do one more mission, and I hope it pops up because it's with fishing. And I've wanted to fish for so long, so that's what we're going to do. But before we even get to, into that, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button so we can support this video and support this series and support my channel in return. So I want you guys to just shoot, shoot, shoot and dribble, dribble, dribble on that like button. And also in the comment okay. section below, tell me whatever you need to tell me. Whether it's for me, whether it's about the game, whether it's about the video. I'd love to know what you guys have to say because I know that lets me know that you guys are engaged and you're actually watching my videos and stuff. And also press the subscribe button if you want to be a part of the of the Drill san family, the Drill san fan base, the Young Blood Army, whatever you want to call it. And also hit the notification bell. You can get alerts from me immediately. But without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. And we're gonna go to the first mission, all right? Here we go. So this first mission, we're actually, ooh. what the? Baby, did mama never hold you? you oh, I got interrupted. Too much. We can't keep this to ourselves. It would be wrong. No, oh, let's no. talk to these strangers. Town has a right to know. Big Hank likes a spank. <laughs> oh, man. These guys are peeping. Oh, come on, let's go. All right, I might... More of this. Oh. All right, what's, what's going on here? It's so damn funny, anyway. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I lost my honor. <laughs> Dang. Alright, that we're a wholesome channel, my bad guys. I didn't mean to look at that. Dang, bro. Alright, shut up. This first mission I was gonna say before we were rudely interrupted by that little doing is uh we're gonna the first mission is actually going to be, uh, I think, Arthur's ex. And uh, we got I got sent a letter off camera from her, so we're just going to go visit him. And she, apparently she needs my help, so let's go see what they're up to. And uh, if you guys didn't tell, I got a new horse. I called him Kaiser France. And if you guys don't know, I like, I like doing the international stuff, but Kaiser means emperor in German. And I named it France, so... France, France, Ashley. That's how you pronounce it properly. And also, I got a new outfit. And pretty much what I've been doing is just I got I've been doing some treasure hunts, and I tried doing that gold glitch. If you guys haven't heard, um, and I got a huge a bow load of money from like having five gold bars, and I think I got yeah, I still got a lot more money to spend, as you can see, but. I've just been spillaging and getting new guns and upgrading, pretty much buying as many stuff as I can. As much stuff, excuse me. Proper English, Steven. But enough with the talk, let's go hit up uh, Arthur's ex, who's named Mary. So, knock knock. Oh, he's nervous. <laughs> disturb you ma'am is mrs linton in i'll go see i can't tell if she's older she's young got all those wrinkles not a snap <laughs> God, now that is what I'm talking about. No, that's. Just... I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. 
Dang, bro. Jeez. Where's <laughs> what's his name? Dad. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Should take him back before this down. encounter. Pneumonia. Not me, <laughs> Arthur. Sir. Hey, so, what? Uh, well, you've been <clears throat> you've been made a widow, and you come here looking for me. Is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Uh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I. I'm my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. Oh my him. goodness. The only <laughs> she reminds me of a girl I've seen in the past in my life. To marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Anything for you. Will you help me? Of course I'm going to help you. Where is it? Somewhere of course. Near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around yeah, the Cumberland Forest. But there's a catch. I just no. want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You owe me. You already owe me. Yes, you owe me the boom boom room. You and me. All right. <laughs> okay, boy. Let's go hit up uh, her brother. Anything for you. Anything for you, Mary. Should have been Mary Morgan instead of Mary Linton. Alright, let's go see. Let's go see what Mamacita's brother's up to. I'll see you guys there. Oh, I actually haven't even told you guys what I've been doing off camera. So again, all I've been doing is, uh, I've been looking at treasure. Finding treasure maps and stuff so I can... Because I've been thinking about ways to wrap up my money and... Uh, my goal for this channel, for this channel, for this uh, series, is to be as good as good on karma as possible. Cause you know that's the goal of this channel. I gotta, re I gotta represent right, and I gotta put up a good image for the channel. And I didn't want to rob people and all of that, so all I did was um, buy treasure maps and stuff like that, so I can find all this gold. And uh, I found one in some place in a burned down town, but that's not treasure. And I found like, I think five gold bars already. Well, six because I've gotten almost three thousand. Yeah. So, and bounties and so all of that. So, that's what I've been doing off camera. And like my favorite part about this game is just going hunting, honestly, and just going around town and just hunting for animals and legendary animals. I, I forgot that map from Hosea. Like I enjoy, I really enjoyed that part of the game, and uh, I I went for like hours and hours, like stayed up till late in the morning just hunting. It's like it's so fun to do, it's so fun for me. I don't know why. And the reason why I want to do Abigail's mission again is to to be able to fish because I wanted to do, I wanted to unlock that part of the game. So yeah, that's all I've been doing, just going around the whole part of the game i just want to clear the map and you know and i'm i like this horse that i have right now let me talk about that and i want a new horse this this big like this horse is an absolute unit as you can see like i line them up next to a carriage and like those normal adult sized horses look like ponies like this horse is an absolute oh, sir, let's hop out the stranger actually 
stranger. Oh, you are a sight to see. Whew. Raise up them hands and think of heaven. Fine. Fine. No one make any dumb move. You know, I really... Bruh. Oh my... Damn, bro. Just had to ask for help, huh? Man. <laughs> I almost took the L there. My bad, but what a bad display. <laughs> I knew he was gonna rob me, but like... <laughs> oh, and I also forgot to talk about... Uh, I'm sorry for my lack of reaction in the last episode. Like... And even now, like, I should have reacted. I should have reacted when he will attack me. But... Oh, it's just something I need to get better at, I guess. I just need more reps. And I need to watch the game film and stuff. Alright, enough talking. You're just gonna... Fill up your editing time, Steven. Alright. What are they up to? What the? All right, these dudes. I mean, I'm a pretty, really, pretty religious guy myself, but what is this shell of safety? Can I speak to the boy, Arthur. Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. And why you? The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur. I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. You sound like... What path have you... Tread this boy like the... I'm undecided, to be honest. Speaking for Arthur. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. I'm not drinking a Kool-Aid, just so you know. about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Yeah? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Let's not... Jamie knows the truth. But of course... What's up with this symbol? Speak with him. Turtle? Exactly. What exactly do you if worship? If teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Shalonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Just talk to Mary, bruh. Do I need to pull out my lasso and kidnap him or something? Or? Come on! Man, his horse is pretty fast. <laughs> well, they're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. I wish I had my. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yep. You're a pit of pious man and you're saying hell. <laughs> I mean. Let's talk about this. I was doing just fine by myself. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the. Mm. What? Oh. Come on, Arthur, get on. Wow, bruh. How? Man, this horse is too big. You're an absolute unit, but you can't jump. You gotta meet like Zion, dog. Alright, we lost him. <laughs> I can't believe I fell off the... How could I not jump off that rock? Like... Alright, oh no, 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 no. Oh. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. Just talk. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Well, now you got leave no choice. Alone. Please. 
I... Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! No, 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 no! Leave me I might have to draw my gun and shoot his hand. Yes, I've <laughs> I died three times yesterday doing that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go see your sister. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Nah, I don't. I don't know, I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. I mean, I hope so. That's all a long time ago, son. Oh, man. <laughs> I hope this really ends well for both of them. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. I don't know. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. <laughs> turtles, yeah, dog. <gasps> All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I and what? A, so what about Arthur? Like what? Me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. <laughs> Damn. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. You'll find something, dog. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um. Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love Alright, this kid's so okay. too simple. I mean, tough. I along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but. Alright, go work in an orchard. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt, but none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I really hope so. Oh, just <laughs> I hope so. I want that mamacita. Dead? Pneumonia. You told me. So the door is open, so to speak. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Let's go hitch this horse really quick and. Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Just like that? Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Come on, that's it? Nothing. That's it for goodbyes. Come on now. What are you gonna say? I've... You're. What? What? Oh, you'll <laughs> never change. I know that. But.
Oh, come on. That's it? Oh, Arthur, say something, damn it. Come on. Oh. You gotta grab the bull by the horns, bro. <laughs> come on. Ah, oh, that didn't end well, but it's all I feel good. like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Oh man, come on, Arthur. All right, John. What it do, partner? What it do, my brother? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. Uh, what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something oh, about back. a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have Might to stop. Might look dirty as heck. <laughs> you know, train driver wants to be cooked alive. I look like a pig that's been rolling in the mud. That is. Which I am doing. <laughs> kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard. To ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, oh, I got. real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. All right, all right, my dude. We're going. Tiring. <laughs> you can't be coming around here. Calm down. All right, we're here. Wish oil tanker. Scrapped on a garden. I ain't doing nothing, bro. I'm just scouting the area. There are guards here. All right, I think we we found her. We gotta be very, very discreet about this. There's a guy right there. There's a dude over there. I don't know how we can go about this stealthy. Uh, there's those two guards there. Alright. Can't let nobody see us. There's that guard right there. Nah, you don't see me. Come on. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta run. <laughs> run, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> don't let him shoot that down, uh, Arthur. This handling is absolutely trapped. Yo, 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 don't let them... Yeet. That's exactly what I've been fearing. God, come on, man. <laughs> Where are you trying from checkpoint, dude? Is there a way to do this as discreet as I can possibly? All right. Anybody here? Alright. Looks like everybody's gone. Alright, time to hightail out of here. Bruh. Alright, looks like we're home free. Just get on the road. Just get on the road. 
Okay, I think we're home free. Well, let's go. I think you're not getting me this time. Where you at? I'm killing all of you. So. Alright, looks like everybody's... Yeah. I think we're home free. Well, it looks like we're here. Alright. Now do we have to wait for John or something? Or... Yeah. Or John, boy. Got gold for that? For I mean, really? <laughs> Alright, John, this better be worth something. I dreamed about dying three times, bro. One time the wagon was destroyed. So yeah. You busy, Arthur? Better be worth something. John. And get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Now. Hurry up. Get away with time. What? Arthur. How are you? Dutch. Miss O'Shea. Well. <laughs> Feels like we are finally getting back on. Right, what you want? What you want me to you do now? Find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet. But Jose is working on. Jose, them. what have you done? When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. <laughs> Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Micah. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Where you... What do you do now? <laughs> they nearly lynched me. Friggin' Micah. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. No, he I ain't, ain't Dutch. I can't go. Oh. This will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. <laughs> he would do it for you. Forty. I don't think he Woody? would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Ah, uh, can we not? Because he's a bit of a loose cannon. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. All right. Got that little ass horse. <laughs> All right, Lenny. Where to? Whoa. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for it. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. He's doing. Yes. He's I up do. to something for sure. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in too. 
Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. I don't think he can be at the bar, I think. I mean, okay. during these times. I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. Oh, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Man. I just know this is during the dialogue book. Look at look at my horse booty and look at Lenny horse booty. Like <laughs> my horse, I'm telling you, is an absolute unit. All right, let's go to this bar really quick. Just one or two, right, off Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please. You. I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Drink up, boy. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. I heard that didn't come off. I, mean, I didn't mean I no harm by it. A lot of crazy, right. crazy I stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're duller. Don't. My lord. You men is dull. Don't lose it, Arthur. <laughs> or Lenny. Leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People have been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen. Charm. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. <laughs> Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. I mean, you're so deep in the sauce, my dude. Oh my god, <laughs> they're gonna lose it. I'm about to lose all my stuff, watch. Oh no. Someone took Lenny. Lenny? Lenny? Where you at, brother? Lenny. Hey, Lenny. He's upstairs. Lenny, where are you? Let's go check that same room where I encountered somebody. Lenny? Oh! My bad! <laughs> I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to. <laughs> Lenny, my boy. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. These boys done lost it. <laughs> what is going on, dude? Lenny? Oh no. Lenny. If Lenny got. Oh. Lenny done lost it, dude. <laughs> Lenny, stop it. Oh no. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. What? <laughs> what the? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like kidding, sure. Oh. Oh, he's taking a piss. Lenny? Lenny? Ah, found 
kill any. <laughs> How many have you had, pal? Lenny, where are you hiding now? I'll find you, Lenny. <laughs> God. Lenny. All right. Bastard. I hope nobody. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? Nah. That, that is freaking gross. No, that ain't. I know exactly what Lenny's wearing, so. Lenny! What? Hi, Lenny! Oh! Where the heck did you come from? Yo, calm, calm down. I'm gonna slap. I don't want to cause no trouble no more. Or do I have to? I think I, I think I have to. Oh goodness, that would took way too long. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, don't kill him. No, we're not drowning him. Don't drown him. <laughs> oh my god. This reminds me of a party I went to two years ago. Oh no. Nah. Can I like... Can I freaking... Oh my. Oh no. What's gonna happen to Lenny? Don't tell me. Uh oh. Oh no. Are you okay, Arthur, dog? Man. Oh no. Gosh. Where where am I? Where's Valentine? Oh, that's it. Oh. Alright, we're doing this final mission with uh Abigail so we can finally fish, I think. Hi Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. By the way, you like you Arthur's hair? Do something with Jack. He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. All right. Where you at, Jack? How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. Dang. Okay, speak later. All right, Arthur. Hey, little John. Little John, little Jack. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. <laughs> Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but they're Arthur Tall. It's like. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. 
Oh, you know. Can I put on my hat, please? up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, we'll see. Got fish to catch first. <laughs> All right, now can I put on my hat, please? Yeah. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. All right. All right. You can go faster than this. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. All right. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Stand over here, little boy. Just by the water there? You mean? Yeah. Over here. All right. Where is my fishing rod? There it is. Oh, I can finally fish. First, we need some bait. Some cheese. All right. Oh, I got a hold. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. All right. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Oh, whoops, my bad. There you go. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. All right. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur. There, got him. Pull him in. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break mm. the line. Mm. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. There it is. There's our little fish. Now I can finally eat fish. I'm gonna find some salmon. Oh, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. <laughs> we should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. All right. That's all. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. All right. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Again? All right. Why are you making flowers, Jack? Be a man. Don't be a daffodil. Look at me. I got a bigger fish. I swear, man. These descriptions. Baked or pan fried. <laughs> I love me some... Wait. <laughs> it's just threw it in the sand, dude. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. 
Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex Who are circumstances. You? Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Pinkerton. Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical Come on, case. dude. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Oh, no. You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, no. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Matt Callender. You got Callender. a crap ton of zits, bro. Matt Callender. He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was... More of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I oh, enjoy man. society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Come on. Good day, Mr. Don't Morgan. come near me, bruh. I don't Goodbye. want any of your zits. Enjoy your fishing, kid. Why you still can. <laughs> Who are they? None you need to know, bro. No one to worry about. No one at all. None you need to you know, boy. Let's pick up your things and get home. Dang, bro. <laughs> you had your fishing rod the whole time with you? It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. All right, let's go, Jackie boy. Dang. <sighs> that got a little. Yeah. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Matt? Is he in jail? Quit asking questions. Don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. So. All right. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. <laughs> Thanks. Mixed in cover right there. Thumbnail. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. 
They want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? What's that all about, Dutch? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something. We gotta do something about that, Dutch. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Stay calm, but we gotta do something about them. Before they do something to us. Alright. That's going to end it right there. I'm going to end episode 6. Part 6 right here. I hope you guys like this video. and uh, This is going to be pretty long. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to make the episodes pretty long from now on. Because I just want to get this game over with. And I want to play this game. Yeah. What did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Yeah, so that being said by Hosea, uh, <laughs> make sure you guys hit that like button. And All right. <laughs> I got to pause. So make sure you guys hit that like button and support this video this series and support this channel and i want to want us to spread the good news of joey son and also hit the comment section below and comment anything that you got to say um, anything about my commentary i guess anything about this video anything about the series or any ideas that you got for this channel and for me uh, i'd love to hear you guys or see what you guys have to say in the comment section down below and also uh, hit the subscribe button so we can grow this family, the Gerald Sand family, the Young Blood Army, whatever you want to call it. And also hit the notification bell so you can get alerts from me immediately and you will know when I come out with content. That's going to do it. I'll see you guys in the next episode if I choose to do it. Wink, wink. <laughs> so yeah, my name is Gerald Young Bloods, and I'm out. Bye-bye now.